We gotta understand this is a systemic problem, systemic. A history of violence in our country that we never been respected in this world, unfortunately. And we put our peoples in, 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 in powers and for leadership and they fail us time and time again. We put them in office, they fail us. Use the tactics that their history and their grandfathers and their mothers and fathers used against us, the same systemic problems. We see it play out. We see it all the time. I mean, we gotta call it what it is. It's white supremacy. We get off the topic and the narrative all the time. I, I, I'm trying to understand the hatred that they have for African Americans that physically and mentally build this country. That build, build it and there's no respect from a history. And I understand that they need people like us to fight and we're gonna to continue to fight. And I don't have a problem with this. I have a problem how they address it, right? They clean it up. They hire more African-American police officers. They put different officials in office. Never responding to the real front fighters and the freedom fighters in the front line. There's no respect. And this is a problem, right? So we have to fix the race relations. We talk about it all the time. We talk about it daily. You know, I couldn't send out a lot of troops here because I'm from here, my kids grew up here. That's the prime example where I really want to do. But it's gonna come to the point that I'm gonna have to do what I have to do and make calls and say, and I'm gonna call them out, this whole system of Pawtucket. I have to, I, I gave them a break today and we talked about it. And I, we, we have to do it, there's no holes bars no more. We're gonna go to your house, your homes, we're gonna, we're gonna be disrupted. That's it. This is not a game, you wanna disrespect our culture and our education and history. Here's what you're gonna get.